Hello students, myself Shruti Niral Gihiremat, lecturer in economics. I would like to welcome you for first PUC classes. Dear students, if you are visiting first time to my channel, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more videos. And if you are interested, please visit my channel playlist to get more videos. Please watch full episode to get accurate information about the subject. In this episode, I am going to explain one marks important multiple choice question with elaborate answers. That is in the first chapter, first chapter introduction, one marks important questions and answers. In that multiple choice questions. Choose the correct answer. Each question carries one marks. First question that is if you are in job you are working for payment you are called option A unemployed option B leader option C employee option D trustee. Right answer is option C employee. In other words when you are in job or working for some other person and you get paid for it means you, are, uh, you may be employed by somebody who pays you wages or salaries. You are called as or you are called a service holder or employee. Next question, question number two. Scarcity is the root of dash. Option A, all economic problems. Option B, social problems. Option C, political problems. Option D, all problems. Right answer is option A, all economic problems. Dear students, we will discuss some complementary aspects regarding economic problems. Scarcity is the root of all economic problems. Had there been no scarcity, there would have been no economic problem. And you would not have studied economics either. In, other, in our daily life, we face various forms of scarcity. The long queues at railway booking counters, crowded buses and trains, shortage of essential commodities, the rush to get a ticket to watch a new film etc. are all manifestations of scarcity. We face scarcity because the things that satisfy our wants are limited in availability. Thus, scarcity is the root of all economic problems. Next question, question number 3. The long queues at railway station, bus stand, cinema theatres are all manifestations of dash. Option A, publicity. Option B, scarcity. Option C, plenty. Option D, quantity. Right answer is option B, scarcity. Scarcity refers to a gap between limited resources and theoretical limitless wants. The notation of scarcity is that there is never enough to satisfy all convincible human wants, even at advanced state of human technology. In other words, in economics, the lack of a commodity in relation to the demand for it, it does not apply simply to goods which are few in number. The word is used in a relative sense. The importance of the existence of scarcity is that it give, gives rise to a need to allocate the available resources among alternative uses. This is all about scarcity concept. Next question, fourth question that is alternative uses of resources give rise to the problem of dash. Option A, 
rights option b price option c choice option d chance the right answer is option c choice choice means the act of performing one course of action to others economics is very largely concerned with the principles explanation explaining how choice are made as wants are many and competitive and while means are limited there must be choice between wants and between means the basic problem of choice may be resolved in different ways in different societies before understanding this we need to understand what is problem of choice problem of choice refers to the allocation of resources allocation of various resources problem of choice refers to the allocation of various scarce resources which have alternative use uses that are utilized for the production of various commodities and services in the economy for the satisfaction of unlimited human wants problem of choice is also known as economic problem causes of problem of choice first one our resources are limited second human wants are unlimited and third resources having alternative uses lastly important point the problem of choice rises because of resources having alternative uses last question that is fifth question this subject is mainly around the study of mankind the or in the ordinary business of the life the last question in this chapter that is introduction chapter that is the fifth question this subject is mainly around the study of mankind in the ordinary business of the life option a history option b economics option c political science option d sociology dear students s students your guess is right option b is the right answer that is economics let's let's see a brief explanation of economics economics by alfred marshall the study of man in the ordinary business of life in other words economics is a social science that studies individual and group decisions on how to use scarce resources to satisfy their wants and needs in simple words economics is the study of how people allocate scarce resources for production distribution and consumption both individually and collectively in this episode i explained first chapter multiple choice questions and answers with additional explanation although if you have any doubts please raise your questions in comment box and please like the video and share with your friends subscribe now and press bell icon so that you will never miss any update thank you for watching this episode